It's a fact of war. Many injuries suffered on the battlefield result in severe bleeding. Stopping it is key to saving lives. So the discovery that an old drug can perform new tricks is great news for military personnel. There was a recent trial carried out by the London School of Hygiene of Topical Medicine, um, which was sponsored by NIHR called CRASH-2 trial. And it looked at the introduction of something called tranexamic acid, which stops clots breaking down. Within weeks of that trial delivering its results, we now use that as part of our treatment process. TXA has been used up until now to treat women with heavy periods and is given to patients in surgery to cut the need for a blood transfusion. It works by helping the clotting process and so reduces excessive bleeding. But until its use by the military, it hadn't been used to treat trauma patients. We didn't find any evidence of side effects. So if you have a drug that helps clotting, you're obviously worried that it's going to clot cause clots where you don't want them, uh, so causing thrombosis. And so what we found is that it reduces the risk of bleeding to death with no increase in the risk of thrombosis. So it's a tremendous result. Although the drug has been picked up by the military, it's not yet being routinely used in the NHS. And for a change, cost is not an issue. TXA is cheap. To treat one patient, one bleeding patient, would cost about three pounds. Now that reduces their risk of bleeding to death by a sixth. There is no, there are very few cheaper ways to save a life than this. TXA cuts the risk of death in injured patients by around 10%. Worldwide, it could save the lives of 70,000 trauma patients. Claire Sadler, Forces News.